temperature test of four action cameras. Good day, folks. Don here from 3BR Power Sports. Today, I am testing four action cameras to see how hot they run as they're recording in a particular mode. So I have the Insta360 X4, the Insta360 Ace Pro, the DJI Action 4, and the GoPro Hero 13. And each of them is set up to record at 4K 60 frames per second. So one thing to note, on the DJI Action 4, I have it in the small rig mount frame with my X-Power A34 external power kit. And that's because I cleverly have misplaced the magnetic mount that goes on the camera. And this is the way I mount it on my motorcycles. I wanted to make sure it was up off the deck because the cameras do dissipate some heat from the bottom. So that'll give the action for a tiny bit of advantage because the case does help dissipate heat somewhat. So they're equally matched as far as setup. I have everything else turned off just so the data is not influenced by how one manufacturer might implement HyperSmooth or whatever. So I think it will give a pretty fair comparison one to the next. So I'll have them recording this timer just in case one of them shuts off due to overheating. Now, one note, the ambient temperature indoors here is a little over 80 degrees. We're in an area of NorCal where the temperatures run in the triple digits for weeks at a time. So you keep the air conditioning set pretty high just to conserve energy. Let's go ahead. The cameras are all started. Let's turn on the recording for each one. Here we go. And I'll measure temperature about every 10 minutes or so. All right, let's let them run a while. The screen should all time out pretty quickly. I've got them at the minimum timeout period. Okay, it's been a little over 10 minutes since I started this test. Let's see where our cameras are temperature-wise. And by the way, let's uh, have a look at what our ambient is here. Yeah, it's still around 82, so okay. Let's see any higher temperature than that. 133. Okay. The Action 4, 141. The Ace Pro. 144 and you notice that I've turned the X4 around it seems to be hotter on this side than the other side but still running cooler than the other three so what did I see 130 let's let that run for a while okay we've been running a little over 20 minutes let's have a look here 40 141 and the action four, 151.7. Now 157. Well, let's give them 156, benefit of the doubt. And finally, the X4. We'll give them a 140. All right, let's let it run some more. Okay, we're at 50 minutes right now. And the hero. 13, 150, 151, 152, the action 4, 158, 159, 161, 162, let's give them 162. And perfect timing, the Ace Pro just shut down at 167, 167 degrees. And the X4, nice, comfortable 143. So the Ace Pro so far is the only one to shut down. Let's see what the message says. Oh my God. Hardly even touch it. 
So there we have it. And that is at 52 minutes roughly. All right, let's let the others continue to run. Okay, the Action 4 just shut down. 163. So let's see what it has to say. So device overheated, recording stopped. And that's at just under an hour. Okay, we'll let the last two survivors keep running here. We're at, I just saw 153 go by. It's picked up one degree since we tested it last. And the X4, by the way, you notice that I've taken the mount frame off of the X4. You know, that's the way I run it in my motorcycle. And I didn't even pay attention to the fact that I still had my X Power X4 mount frame on it. So, but it really doesn't seem to make a little bit of difference. It's up to 148 and it was 144. So, but still cooler than all the rest. And I think the reason is the fact that it's so big, it's got a lot of area to dissipate heat. So it's a great advantage uh, to the X4. I've never been a fan of the, of the tall camera because it puts so much load on the mounts with all that overhung weight. But uh, boy, it sure makes a difference for cooling. Okay, all four cameras have now shut down. However, the Hero 13 and the Insta-X4 both shut down because they ran out of battery. So they did not have an overheating issue. They just kept recording until they didn't have enough battery left to do anything. So that wraps up the test. The results are not surprising to me. Uh, over the past oh, several weeks, I've been running power draw tests on the camera. And I found that the GoPro Hero 3 draws half the power that either the Insta360 or X4 draws. So 7 watts versus 12 to 14 watts for the Insta360 cameras. Now I have not done a power draw test on the Action 4 to know where it fits in. There's the results that I got with my test using my parameters. And I'm sure there are going to be a lot of people who say, oh, you should have conducted it with these parameters or those parameters done this way or that way. But again, this is the way I tested it, the way I thought was most fair. And if there are folks who think it should have been done differently, then they have the option of conducting a similar test and publishing their results.